Hello, my name is Connie Lamoff and I'd like to welcome you to CCL Young Actor Studio. Excuse me, is it possible to get a store credit here? I'm hungry. Uh, do we do store credit? You mean like food stamps? You mean like food stamps? I don't, I, I don't think she means like food stamps. It means like she needs some food now that she can come back and pay for at the end of the week, something like that. Yeah, I don't think we do that here. Though we could ask Frank. <laughs> That's a laugh, but whatever. It's worth, it's worth a shot. Then get him over here. These people don't have all day. Hey, Frank! Can you come here a sec? Be right there. Is there a problem? Sir, I was, I was wondering if I could get some food today. I'll pay you when I get paid. It'll just be a couple days. I wouldn't ask for just me, but we don't have anything left. Ma'am, I would love to help you. I'm sorry, but it's against our corporate policy. Hey, we do donate our day-old bread to the food bank on North Street every Monday. You might check, there might be some left. Sir, it's all gone. I, I wouldn't ask if it were just for me, but I have three children and they haven't eaten since yesterday morning. Ma'am, if I do that for you, I have to do that for everybody. And I'm sure everybody in the store would like some free food. Every day, the store gets approached by people just like you who are having a hard time making it. And you might find this hard to believe, but the store is really having a tough time too. I don't think any of us would care if you gave her a store credit. Uh -huh. I, I don't need much. Not at all. Well, sometimes the smallest needs weigh on us the most. Should we give her some of our coupons? Whoa, whoa, whoa. If I give her some of these coupons, you won't have anything to eat tomorrow. We have all that stuff we don't like in that one cabinet. I can eat some green beans. Look, Adelaide, we all have to fight our own battles, okay? I only have three items. Can you open up another register? Dude, this is the only register that's working. And even then, the scale's iffy. There's nothing wrong with the scale. Ma'am, I'm sorry. I really can't help you. No, you won't help her. Anybody can help anybody. Here, give me the list. It does feel heavy. Because it's made of lead. Well, why don't you weigh it then? All right. I'll weigh it. And whatever it comes up to, I'll give her that amount in groceries. Come on. 
Okay, look, I'll weigh it. And whatever it comes to, I'll give her that amount in groceries. Just give me the ticket, okay? No, I want him to do it. I don't care who does it. I'm a busy guy. Just do it, okay? $25, okay? Take it. Okay. Buy what you need somewhere else, okay? God knows the way to the prayer, and I should know better than anyone. Hey, wait, whoa, whoa, that's the... Oh, sorry, sorry, <laughs> I, got, I got caught up in the moment. You know what, um... I got more than I could have ever hoped for. It's all about perspective. Perspective? Yeah. You'll understand one day. Come on, Adelaide. Here, you go find these and... What did you get on your shirt? sitting here with the fabulous Gia Jones. And Gia and I have known each other now for probably about six months or so. Yeah. I want you to know this is a very talented young lady. And the very first time I met Gia, I was uh, actually auditioning lots of kids. Probably I saw, I don't know, maybe 200 kids over that weekend. But in any case, someone told me that I needed to see this little gal, and she came up and just was wonderful. She did a great little choreographed dance for me right away. She sang and she did all of this in front of so many people, unrehearsed, unprepared. So I'm really uh, so excited to have Gia playing the lead in uh, this thing that we're shooting tomorrow, The Weight of a Prayer. And so um, tell us a little bit about that. You have a pretty big role. Yeah. How long have you been studying for the role? Well, I've been studying it for about a week. Mm -hmm. 
Yeah. What do you What do you have to do, Gia, to learn your lines? How do you learn your well, lines? Well, usually I just say them over and over, and then when I think I'm ready, I go to my parents, and they help me learn the lines. Mm -hmm. So, tell us a little bit about who your character is. Well, my character is Adeline, and she's a very nice person. She helps a poor person in the movie, and like she puts a quarter in the paper to make sure that it's heavy and that the poor lady can get like $25 in the movie. So, so for people that don't understand because they don't know the story yet, so basically your character is, she sees and recognizes that someone is in trouble and that they need some money and she wants to help them. Yeah. Right? Does, don't, doesn't your character also really recognize all the people She's in the very story? observant. She is. She's very observant. That's right. So, Gia, how long have you been acting now? Because you're, you're 10. Well, I've been acting, I think, since I was 7 or 6. 7 or 6. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, and you do all of these things. She acts, you sing. Yeah. You dance. Yeah. She just finished a theater camp, right? Yeah, it was called All Shook Up. I wasn't really a lead, but I was in all of the numbers. Okay, so let me ask you this. I mean, you see all these young people out here. Yeah. Now, what advice would you give to them about acting? Well, it's not like you need to be so serious. You can have some fun, but... You need to pay a lot of attention, a lot of attention. Yeah. Do you think acting is for everyone? Do you think everyone can do acting or just some people? Not everyone, because some people don't really like acting. Some of their futures could be like dancing or singing. Mm -hmm. So just if you want to act, you, you can just Come to this lady. <laughs> <laughs> That's right. Come to see me. Yeah. All right, sweetie. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Beautiful job, sweetheart. You did a good job. Okay. Thank you. So I'm sitting with two fabulous ladies, Mia Bates, and I'm also sitting with Sierra Jernigan. Mm -hmm. And um, Sierra, I, I want to just ask you two questions real quick. First of all, um, tell us about you're involved in a pageant. What's the name of that pageant? It's the Miss United States Intercontinental Pageant. And you are Miss? North Carolina. Oh, and she is beautiful, too. I love her pictures. Um, Mia, you are doing what? You're doing some modeling? Yeah, I've done bridal wear, just little competitions here and there, just pretty much building up my resume. So both of these ladies are going to be in our film, uh, which we're going to be shooting tomorrow night. Um, I just have one thing I wanted to ask you uh, that I just forgot a second ago, and that was, quickly, can you tell me what it's like? Uh, you're hearing impaired. I'm legally deaf. Okay, and so I think that's such an inspiration for anyone who uh, could be watching that also has some kind of disability. Is there anything that you would like to share with them? Um, pretty much, no matter what it is that you think can hold you back, it can't because you can do anything, no matter what. It might be hard, but in the end, it will be worth it. There you go, that's right. <laughs> All right, ladies, thank you so much. It's been thank so you. great to have you. And we're looking forward to seeing you tomorrow. Well, as you can see, I'm sitting here with two fabulously uh, gorgeous young ladies. I have Cameron and Carrington Cowan with me today. And they are going to talk with me about their first film, which is going to be shot tomorrow. And um, so I wanted to just ask them about um, what they think it might be like, their, their first time uh, on a movie set. What do you think? It's going to be fun. It's going to be fun, I yes. I think it's going to be different. And you think it's going to be different, yeah? So, so girls, tell me a little bit about what it is that you're going to do. 
We're gonna try and put candy up on the um, front desk. We're and I'm sitting like, in the cart. And you're sitting in the cart. Are you being good? No. <laughs> you're not? Oh my goodness. We're putting candy up there. What kind of candy are you gonna choose? Skittles. Skittles, <laughs> is that your favorite? Yeah. Actually, yeah. sweet tarts. And who, who are you? Actually, sweet tarts are. <laughs> sweet tarts? I like sweet tarts, too. So, now, who are you with in this particular scene in the film? Uh, are you with someone? Yeah. Who would that be? A nanny. A nanny. So, she's watching you, and you guys are where? Where are you? We're in the checkout place. So, you're at a what? Grocery store. You're at a grocery store. When you go to the grocery store with your mom, are you really a good girl, or do you do you constantly try to put food in the cart that no, mom doesn't want to buy? No, we don't try to put food in the cart. Why not? <laughs> Why not? Because we don't want to. Oh. I do sometimes. <laughs> so, so Cameron, you want to be an actress. Right? Yeah. What do you think it would be like to be a movie star? Fun. Yeah, why? Fun. Because I like singing and dancing, and that's what movie stars do sometimes. They just sing and dance? And act. And act. Very good. What about you? Um, do you want to be a movie star? Yes. Yeah? What would be the best thing about being a movie star? Being sassy. <laughs> sassy. I oh, sassy. you're the sassy one? And what about you? I just like to dress. You just want to wear all the pretty things? Mm -hmm. Yes. Have you girls seen the, the beautiful little girls that sometimes are on the TV show, Ellen? What's, what's their name? Who are they? The, the two cute little girls that are on the show, Ellen. You seen them ever? Sophia and Grace, is that who they are? Oh, they're adorable. Have you ever seen their dresses? No. Oh, no. my goodness. Well, you two remind me of Sophia and Grace on that show. <laughs> well, she looks like the blonde hair one. She looks, Maybe. but I thought you said you'd never seen them. We haven't. She's just guessing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, well, she's a little actress already then. <laughs> All right, well. Girls, it's been so much fun having you today, and um, I'm looking forward to working with you tomorrow. Do you know what I do? What do I do? You make kids movie stars. <laughs> I make kids movie stars. I would love to make kids movie stars. I would love to make you girls movie stars. We'll have to just do a little praying, okay? <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, I am here with a true pro. This is Brian St. August, and I'm really thrilled to have him on this show. Brian, welcome. Thank you, Connie. <laughs> I'm thrilled to be on your show, too. Uh, it's probably more my thrill than yours, actually. Brian and I have um, actually had the pleasure of being together in several, several things. Yes. And most recently on the movie Day of the Gun. That's the period right. piece, that was which a, was, yeah. That was a very exciting film. A lot of Still fun. going, still going. So, um, you know that the, the reason that you're here tonight is because I want you to inspire young actors. What advice do you have for them? I think I would say um, what my son said. My son is Chris Kalman, who spoke earlier. Uh, and that's that um, if you love it, do it. No matter what anybody tells you, whether it's your closest friends, if it's, even if it's your parents, if you love it, do it. Because this is an industry where a thousand people will rain on your parade, mainly because they're afraid to do it. So don't expect other people to encourage you. Just try as much as you can to build that inspiration up in yourself, and it'll happen. If you believe in yourself, it will happen. So Brian, um, I think one of the things that uh, I wanted to ask you about was uh, several years ago, well mm. probably more than several now, you suffered a uh, major heart operation. That's right, yeah. Do you think that that experience 
has somehow molded and helped you with being an actor today? It's every it's the reason that I'm an actor today, probably. Really? Yeah. Because I was very shy. Even when I was um, I guess in my forties, I was very shy. And it wasn't I until I know that. you wouldn't have known me. <laughs> I really can't. October fourth, ninety nine was when I had my surgery. And I look at that date like my birth date because the person that lived up to that point is gone. I mean, that person, that shy person, is just not there anymore. Um, there was a lot of processing that took place after that surgery, but after um, I processed that, I made the decision that I was going to do all the things that I was afraid to do before. If I wanted to sing in front of people, um, I was going to try to do that. And uh, one thing led to another, and I wound up being a featured artist uh, in Fells Point, but played all over the country as a singer-songwriter for many years. As a matter of fact, you and Reed came, came down and, right. and saw came me to one of those performances. Um, and as uh, a lot of your, your guests have said, you know, you do this, you do this, you do this, and you just get stronger, and you start to believe more in yourself. And not many years ago, I got an opportunity to be involved in a couple of movies and uh, rather than saying no as I would have prior to that surgery I said yeah I've never done that I'm gonna do that and one thing led to another and uh, here I am. There you are. Here I so am. who is the very famous famous speaker that said never ever ever give up? Does anybody know who that is? Never ever ever give up. Winston Churchill. Thank you, Brian. Thank you, Connie. <laughs> I'm here with Christian Minerly, and I'm here with Serena Lay. And um, these two are uh, both uh, talented young actors. Christian has done a variety of stuff. Um, he's got a nice little developing resume. Uh, we worked with him yesterday. I was very, very impressed with Christian. Not only was Christian wonderful um, in what he was asked to do as an actor, but he also was really great because he was, he listened, he was present, and he was helpful. And when you're a, a small production, um, not a great big production company, and you need a hand, sometimes he was right there. So that was really awesome. Uh, on top of that, Serena has really jumped in there. She's been um, really um, such a big help to, to me and um, to what we're doing today, yesterday, and a big part of this process as well as her wonderful mother, Belissa. And um, so I just thought it would be fun if we could kind of talk for a little bit about um, what do you think when you meet, um, when you meet a mature actor? Like as uh, an example, you worked with Jim Morris. Yes. Jim's got um, uh, plenty of years of experience. Um, Brian St. August, I don't know if you uh, know of him, but he is somebody that's been around for quite some time, and he has uh, some very wonderful credits on his resume. We also, tonight, we have Chris Kalman, who's, again, um, somebody who, you know, just could, we can really learn a lot yes. from. So, when you are with an actor like that, what kind of questions do you want to ask them? Um, let's see, like, what made them want to be an actor? Mm -hmm. Well, that's my main question because, like, I wanted to be an actor because, like, I wanted to express myself. Like, mm -hmm. I see how people on TV be, um, like, they can act as anything they want. Mm -hmm. They get um, characters and parts and, like, asking, the, you know, <laughs> oh, I'm sorry. That's okay. So, yeah. so you're basically <laughs> just saying to you just want to ask them what what made them want to become an actor. Yes, that's a good question. What about you, Serena? Well, a lot of times when you come up to a, an actor, you aren't really sure if they're seasoned or if they are brand new to this. So you just sort of have to treat everyone like they have experience and ask them, you know, a few general questions until you figure out how much experience they do have. And mainly, what I ask is, you know what inspired them to begin this initially and who inspires them now to continue on and 
like their characters and where they get their inspiration for each of their characters. So you guys realize that any time that you're doing a project and you're working with what, for the, it, it could be a mature actor, mm -hmm. but it could also be um, a, a young child that's had a lot of experience. Yes. But you realize that when you are with them, it gives you the opportunity to ask questions. Mm -hmm. I think a lot of us are kind of intimidated oftentimes, and so we don't ask. But this is a great way to get really solid, good information, yes. especially when you're in a local area. You can get lots of great information mm -hmm. about where can I go, where do I go to get information, how do I find out what jobs are out there, that kind of thing, yes. right? So um, so let me just ask you real quick, Serena, um, what are you hoping to do with your career as an actress? Well. I really just like doing it for fun, but mm -hmm. I do enjoy all of the different experiences, meeting new people, and all the talents. And Cause you're in college. Yes. Yeah. Yes, and I'm actually studying to be a marine biologist and environmental policy. Wow. So acting is just sort of a side job for me, but I really do enjoy learning, you know, public speaking. That's important, and how to communicate with other people, and also express yourself, as he mentioned earlier, mm -hmm. and be able to speak in any sort of situation and be... And you do a beautiful job of that, Thank doesn't you. she? She speaks very nice. And you nicely. also have to be a different sort of person depending on whether you're talking to a little kid or you're talking to you know, an experienced actor or if you're talking to a politician like I will be doing in the future. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have to find out more about yeah. this. So Christian, um, I know that you want to be an actor, mm -hmm. and um, of course, you know I've worked with your mother, looked at your resume pretty extensively, and that kind of thing. This is something that you really want to do as a career. Yes, isn't that right? Yes. Yeah. So, do you have an idea as to where you want to go, what school you want to go to, if you're going to go to school? Yes. Um, well, actually, I just auditioned for the governor's school in Virginia. Oh, wonderful! And I got in. <gasps> Fantastic! <laughs> <laughs> well, you just never know, do you, unless you have. Yes. You know, communication is a great thing, guys. You need to put those phones down and talk to each other. <laughs> anyway, so thank you so much, Christian. Thank I look you. forward to working with you in the future and, of course, you as well. Thank you. Great job, guys. So welcome back. I am with Chris Kalman. And of course, you'd already met our lovely Serena Lay. And so we're going to talk to Chris because Chris um, is really uh, well known. He's done a lot of pretty exciting shows in our area um, on Discover Investigation Discovery, um, TLC, um, Destination America, a bunch of those kind of shows. Yeah. Always right. a bad guy. Right. Always the main bad guy. <laughs> <laughs> so you're saying you're being typecast? Yeah, but if, you know, crime pays in this case, so. <laughs> this type of job. <laughs> this, is a, but this is a good guy this time that I get to do with you, so looking that's, forward to it. That's good to know. I want to ask you a question that um, I thought of specifically for you. Okay. Because as you can see, Chris is very confident. <laughs> Confidence it's sells a lie. in this industry. <laughs> So since confidence is a big part of being successful in acting, how do you think somebody goes about getting that confidence? You've got all these young people here. What can you say to them that's going to help them um, to realize confidence? That's, that's a really, really good question because I was actually, when I was younger, I was really, really scared and nervous all the time. Mm -hmm. And it wasn't until really just doing it over and over again and starting to I mean, you just add, the more you do this, you start to believe in yourself more. You can't help it. And I think that the more comfortable that you get and the more that Connie has been talking about where you're networking and you're getting to do different projects and different situations, you grow as a person, as an actor. And where maybe 10 years ago, I couldn't be, I, you guys would have blown my mind with the ones that you have already come up here and talked. I couldn't do that. There's no way. But after you do it enough, <clears throat> you get comfortable with what you've been doing and you will feel better about it. And th that fear kind of just starts to dissipate, and your confidence will grow that way. And it's not easy, and it's going to have tough times, but there are going to be some really great times too. And I can tell you that I can I, that I remember all the great times that have happened in, over the past ten years, much more than 
a few uh, Give me downers. an example real quick of one. Of uh, a good situation? Mm -hmm. that, well, actually, well, the one that I'm just, just doing with you, with this one, it, that's it's something that's really interesting. That's something that I, ha I don't do very often, obviously, because I'm playing a really good guy <laughs> in this one, which is really neat. But um, a lot of some of the, the recent shows that I've been doing, um, I've been working with some really big casts, and uh, it's been it's just starting to, to cross over to some of these larger productions and seeing that I'm actually coming to those levels and I'm learning a lot of things that I never would have anticipated. So now it's just a blast. I mean, honestly, the, the point that I'm at now, which is the point that I think we all kind of want to be to eventually, I'm not there quite yet, but is that you're just enjoying it, uh, really. I love being around these people. I love doing this kind of work. Uh, it's, there's nothing that I wouldn't do, I'd rather do than this. It's fun. I mean, seriously, that's why we're here, right? I mean, that's why we like it. That's why we watch TV. And it took a long time to get there, but I wouldn't trade it. It's just, it's a blast. You know, you just made me think of something while I was sitting here talking to you, and I'm just Not kind Rogaine, of... Not Rogaine, right? <laughs> <laughs> I'm just kind of curious to ask you this question. Mm -hmm. Do you feel like uh, one of the things that you love about acting is that there truly is that thing that carries over from childhood. It's oh, that, that game of pretend. Yes, and you absolutely. just get into the moment, right? <laughs> completely, <laughs> completely. I'm, I think, I used to hear when I was a kid all the time that I was almost too, I, my imagination was too big because I had a real hard time staying grounded and inert. And I was always the dreamer. I still get it. And too, right? finally, yes. now I, I got to say, it's it's good to be a dreamer. At times, I'm not saying that you can't. You got you have to still live in this world, but it's okay to think big, and it's okay to to let your mind run because there's just so much more you can accomplish if you don't, you know. At least you're going in that direction that uh, you want to go, and it's amazing when you do. Once you start to get the, that that feeling, and and again, the confidence comes with that. Um, I'm never going to be where I want to be. But I tell you, it's such a—it's just getting in that direction each day. It's so much more fun, and I—I I really, I'm happier right now, in this moment, than I've ever been in my whole life. I can tell you that honestly. I've never felt better about myself and the work I'm doing, and it's just—it's—it's it's so wonderful, and I'm so glad. And I did it as a whim. You guys mostly started younger than me. I went into college at 25 and took my first theater, theater class. Then I was doing, you know, theater like crazy, and then film and TV. And I just loved it. And the more that you like it, the more you do it, the more you do it, the better you get. Pretty simple. Well, guys, I hope that you can see that Chris is really somebody that he has a lot to share. And he's a great resource. So those that are in this audience, make sure that you take a minute to catch up with him when we're done. And maybe, you know, exchange emails. This is somebody that you can learn a lot from. Chris, thank My you so pleasure. much. My pleasure. Thank you very much for having me.